brought to you by Nitro, the official sports supplement of the UFC found at Nitro.tv. These are two youngsters. Sims making his debut. He is seven inches taller than Frank Mir. He is semi-shield-like. Let's see how Sims uses the knees. Our referee for this matchup of the night, Nelson Hamilton. Wes Sims comes right Whoa. at Frank Mir, and down he goes. He's looking for a choke early. He's got him in the guillotine, but he doesn't have guard. Frank's going to get out of there. Right to Frank the Mir. ground. Right oh, to the ground. Oh, he's got an arm. He's got an arm right here. Right to the ground, and this is where Frank Mir has been so dominant. And he, he transitions from attempt to attempt so well, Joe. Absolutely. He's very dominant in the top position as well as in the bottom position. He's got very well-rounded jiu-jitsu skills, and this is a bad place for Wes Sims. And I like the way Wes Sims came at him, but Mir is working. He hasn't even had to deal with a guard and an elbow to the face of Wes Sims. Yeah, Wes Sims is very enthusiastic, but that might have not have been the best thing to do right out of the gate. Yeah, we know he has a, has a striking a striking ability, which would be greater than Mir's, we would assume, just based on reach itself. Oh, he's got the mount. Mir just took the mount. This is a very bad position. He's going to pound down from here and look for him to roll. Look for uh, Wes Sims to try to roll over. And as soon as he does, look for Mir to try to choke him. Full mount for Frank Mir early. He's dropping some punches here. He's made quick work of the now, as he couple of opponents that he now, has he beat before. This is where the choke comes in. Look what he for it. Right there. Gets the hooks in. He's got the back. He's got the choke. I knew it was coming. When he gets on top, he's pounding to try to get the guy to roll over, to get him in this very position right here and choke him out. What can Sims do here? He can tap out. <laughs> what can he do to avoid that? He's in a bad spot right now. It's all in whether or not Mir has his forearm completely underneath uh, Wes Sims' neck. If he does, Wes Sims has very little recourse. He might just black out here. He might just go out. He is trying to avoid it. You can He's see the oxygen guts. in his face. He is hanging in there. Frank, oh, Frank, Frank did not arms. have it underneath his chin. He did not have it totally underneath there. But he's got perfect control of him right now. Now he's torquing his neck. See how he's torquing his neck? I right, rolled it back to the mouth. That's a worse position. He was better off where he was. He should have tried to control it right there. So a dominant first couple of minutes here for Frank Mir. Frank's very much in control here. I'm sure we'd have liked to have kept it back on the, on, uh, with Frank Mir on his, with uh, Wes Sims on his stomach, but he's very confident here, dropping elbows. Well, if this is one thing for Mir, it's a chance for him to, to fight someone like Gan McGee or like UFC heavyweight champion Tim Sylvia. Yeah, this is a huge guy. I mean, there's this new breed of UFC heavyweights like Tim Sylvia, like Gan McGee, like Wes Sims, gigantic dude. Okay, he's stepping up right now. Looks like he's going to take an arm. There he goes. He's got it. He's Gan securing the arm, but you know what? Wes Sims might be able to get out of here right here. Wes Sims is a very strong guy. He's got a hold of his arm. He's protecting himself. He might slam him. He slams him. He's got free. That's what I'm talking about. What a job by Sims. Stop. Can't That's kick not a down legal. opponent. That's not Cannot legal. Cannot kick Stop. a downed opponent. Timeout is called. You cannot kick a downed opponent. And Nelson Hamilton steps right in. And Wes Sims has lost by disqualification doing this very thing before. In the video they showed in the highlight film, he power slammed the guy and then he soccer kicked him in the head. He's raising his hands up here, but this is not good. He stomped him several times. And it looks like he caught his eye. The eye is swollen on Frank Mir. But this, this will be a call. As you said, that was not legal. It's not legal and it's very dangerous, which is one of the reasons why it's not legal. Let's go to the replay. I'm not sure Sims is, is certain of it yet. See, he's got, he's holding on to this arm, but Wes Sims has a hold of his hand and he's a freakishly strong dude. So I knew he was going to try to slam his way out of it. Here he goes. He slams his way out of it and then he looks to stomp on the jaw over and over again. He hit him three or four times clean on the jaw. Even if this fight goes on, you got to think right now that Frank Mir is very hurt. Let me tell you what's going on. Well, Dr. No Margaret Goodman, the no Nevada stomping. Athletic Commission, so he can't go the on, signed doctor here to the Ultimate if Fighting Championship, on, is checking on Frank Mir's condition right it. now. I mean, it's Hold very difficult corner. to penalize a fighter in this position because so much damage has already been done. West dropped some heavy feet down on Frank Mir's face. That's it. They're calling the fight. It's a disqualification. It's a disqualification. 
The referee has ruled it a disqualification. And, that, and that's the right call. It is the right call. That is the right call. Had this been in Pride, that would be a knockout. But in Pride, it would also be in a ring, so Mir wouldn't have been trapped up against the fence, which is one of the reasons why we don't allow stomps in the UFC. Let's look at the end of it again. Wes is defending the armbar. He slams him, pulls his arm out, and then this is all illegal from here. Not only he's holding on to the fence as yeah. well. You know, the shame of it is, and the, and the shame of it is, is that Wes got overzealous more likely than not, Joe. If he had fought through so much adversity, all he had to do there is pound down on him or come down with a punch. You can come down with a punch, you can't come down with you a kick. You know what? I think he felt safe holding on to the fence and stomping. It's his instinct. Oh, he just wanted to kill him, he wanted to stomp the dude. You know, that's just the instincts, but part of being a professional fighter is you have to avoid those instincts, and you have to work within the parameters of the rules. And he's got a uh, nice little knot underneath that eye, doesn't he? Yeah, Mir's out of it. He looks like he's coming too, but he, he got rocked. You know, you're talking about a 250-pound guy stomping down on your head. Let's check into the Octagon. Eddie Bravo is with our referee, Nelson Hamilton. I'm here, I'm here with Doc Hamilton, the referee. Doc, for the people that are confused out there, explain exactly what happened. The rule states that you cannot stomp a downed opponent. If you stomp on him and he cannot continue, then the fighter is disqualified. That's it. All right, there you heard it from the referee, Doc Hamilton. Back to you guys. Nice work, Eddie. And that is exactly it, and the rules are clearly stated. And it's not as if, Joe, it's not as if these fighters do not know the rules. There are rules meetings, there's a whole big guideline, and that is one of the ones that talked about the most. You cannot kick a down opponent. Yeah, and like I said, Wes Sims is a very excitable kid. He wants to make a big splash in the UFC, and he probably just went on instinct. He's just going on pure animal instinct. Here's the slam to avoid the arm bar. He gets out of that holds on to the fence, which is illegal, and drops feet down. Frank Mir is trapped there. You know, it's a, it's a shame after, as I said, working through all that adversity, Joe, and Sims did a great job not to have to tap against Frank Mir with the choke or the arm, and then the official word, the call against Wes Sims. Very unfortunate. He loses know. by disqualification. It was shaping up to be an exciting fight, and if Wes had gotten out of that arm bar, who knows, maybe Frank Mir would have worn himself out a little. Maybe Wes could have turned it on and, and turned the tables and started to take control of the fight. Now we'll never know unless they have a rematch. And even then, it's a different fight. Very unfortunate turn of events. Well, the main match tonight is for the interim light heavyweight title between Randy, the natural couture, and Chuck, the Iceman Lagoon.